Welcome Brainers. Docker failed to initialize. Docker desktop is shutting down. This error can be quite common and frustrating among Windows Docker users. In this video, I'll show you how to get rid of this issue in a few simple steps without losing any of your Docker images or containers. Solution 1. Delete corrupt configuration files. Please open your file explorer. Using the address bar, navigate to percent app data percent. Get into the Docker folder. Once you're here, delete settings as well as locked directories files. Please be informed that this will not affect your existing containers and images, and these configuration files will be automatically recreated when Docker is started next time. Once deleted you can close these windows. Now, try to run Docker Desktop as administrator and see if the issue is fixed. Solution 2. Delete corrupt configuration folders. Please open your file explorer. Using the address bar, navigate to percent app data percent. Get into the Docker folder. Once you're here, please select all files and delete. Please note that this will not affect your existing containers and images, and these configuration folder contents will be recreated when Docker is started next time. Now, return to roaming, and this time open the Docker desktop folder. Again, select all files and delete them. If you face any such issues while deleting the files, maybe Docker is running in the background. Please open Task Manager and end Task Docker Desktop Backend and any Docker related processes. Now, you should be able to delete the files. After performing these steps, you must restart your computer for these changes to take effect. Post restart, please run Docker Desktop as an administrator. I no longer get the error, and all my Docker containers and images are exactly available as before. Solution 3. Enable Windows Features and Update WSL. Please search and open Windows Features. Scroll down and make sure the following three features are enabled. Virtual Machine Platform. Windows Hypervisor Platform. And Windows Subsystem for Linux. Click OK and close the window. Please search and open command prompt. Run wsl-update command. Once the command completes successfully, please launch Docker Desktop. Solution 4. Uninstall and reinstall Docker Desktop. Please be aware that this action will result in the deletion of downloaded images and containers. However, with just a few clicks, you can quickly recover them using your Docker file and Docker Compose file. Let me show you how to do it. First, search and open Add or Remove Programs and uninstall Docker from your system. Next, download Docker Desktop from the official website and proceed with the installation. Once the installation is complete, launch the Docker Desktop application. Run Docker Build on your Docker file. Run Docker Compose up on your Docker Compose file. Please note that these commands execution time may vary based on your internet connection speed and the size of the Docker images. By following these steps, I restored all my images and containers back as before. I hope one of these solutions works for you too. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.